Over to meteorologist Hannah Gar with a check of our forecast. Yeah, not looking too bad out there this morning. We have some sunshine, so that's going to heat us up quickly. But we have a nicer feel in the air, kind of like what we saw yesterday. Some of our dew points out there are not so bad. We're in the mid-70s. It was a little bit lower yesterday, so it might be a bit more humid, but still not feeling that summertime oppressive humidity. Normally, they're nearing 80 degrees, but temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for many of us. Those winds are what's making it feel a bit better from the northeast, but they're less than what we were seeing yesterday. We had a nice breeze. Now they're fairly light, but lows today still not bad. Up on the North Shore, we saw some upper 60s, which really unseasonable low temperatures and low 70s. Down across the South Shore, some of us even got into the low 70s this morning. Dew points right now, you can see where that cutoff is. We have some drier air coming in in places like Bogalusa, Bay St. Louis. Down on the South Shore, we're still in those mid-70s, though, for many of us. Along the coast is where they're still seeing and feeling some of that humidity. But that's because of this little stationary boundary that's just offshore. That was there yesterday, too. It's not quite as strong, though, those winds coming from the northeast. So, again, that's why we're not seeing as much dry air as we had yesterday morning. But we do have this warm front over to the west that's changing things for them as well. It's pulling in some moisture just to the west of us. So we just have a little bit longer that we're going to see these slightly nicer dew points. So that's because of this upper level pattern you can see here. We have this big low pressure system counterclockwise spin. And you might notice in these oranges this kind of circular counterclockwise motion developing it's trying to cut off some of that low pressure, but it's over our area, which is keeping us nice and dry. Over to the west, we have this clockwise spin starting to expand over much of the country. That's high pressure. So on the eastern edge of that, it's pulling down that low pressure system that's bringing in some of that nice, drier northerly air. But that's not going to last long, this high pressure to the west starts to move into our area by the end of the week. We see a lot of high pressure over much of the U.S. that's going to really heat up our temperatures as far north as places like Kansas, Nebraska. They could see triple digit temperatures. For us, we'll start to reach near those records. We're definitely above normal throughout this week, though. We've already been there even yesterday. Our average 92. So we're going to be in the mid 90s through the start of the weekend. I think Sunday we could touch upper 90s, which is near records just going to stay hot and I think that'll last even maybe into the start of August but looking at the tropics because we are about to head into August it's that time of year we have two different areas that we're watching this invest moving into the lesser Antilles very low chance of developing and they just outlined this yesterday so a large area of low pressure headed towards the east coast so right now we're seeing thunderstorm activity and a little bit of circulation there but nothing cohesive that's moving to the west and then notice this area, pretty broad. We don't have a lot of certainty on the development of that system, but we'll watch it as we head into this week. Then we have Invest 95L heading now into the Caribbean. It's been bringing some rainfall and windy conditions to the Lesser Antilles. That's going to head into a really volatile area here of high shear in the Caribbean. So if we do see that continue on, it might become an East Pacific problem, but not too worried about that system for us in the future. We're just looking at 20% chance for storms each day. That's going to be those pop-up afternoon storms. And then our temperatures really climbing up, guys, by the end of the weekend where you might be reaching that heat advisory criteria once again.